Just reading one of my favourite stories, The Magic Faraway Tree. It's a book about three children, Joe, Beth and Franny, who take their cousin Rick to an enchanted wood near their home to show him the most amazing tree you will ever read about. The faraway tree is so tall, you can't see where it ends. But if you clamber all the way to the top, you'll arrive at strange and magic lands. A different one each time you visit. The children are experts at the climb. On the way up, they know to avoid Dame Washalot, who's always doing her dirty washing and emptying the water down the tree. Phew. They meet lots of the people, like Silky the Fairy and the Saucepan Man, who've all made their homes inside the trunk. The tree is stuffed full of funny characters, like Mr. What's-His-Name. That's his actual name, because even he can't remember what he's called. Then there's Moonface, who has a big round face, like the moon, with a huge smile on it. And his best friend is the saucepan man, who's covered in pots and kettles. Can you imagine the noise he makes whenever he moves around? I've always been really adventurous, so I loved reading about the incredible things that happened in this book. It's a bit like dreaming, because there's loads of magical things that go on that you would never be able to do or see in real life. There was a big tree near where I lived, and I used to climb it, look up, and imagine the sort of adventures I might like to have. On Rick's first visit, the land of topsy-turvy is at the end of the faraway tree. As they climb higher and higher, Rick can't wait to see it. A huge white cloud floated above them, but just nearby was a hole right through the cloud. That's where we go, up that hole, said Joe. See that branch that goes up the hole? Come on! They all went up the last and topmost branch of the faraway tree. It went up and up through the purple hole in the cloud. At the very end of the branch was a little ladder. Joe climbed the ladder and suddenly his head poked out into the land of topsy-turvy. Then one by one, all of the others followed and soon all seven of them stood in the curious land. And what do you think they saw when they got there? Well, the great thing is you don't have to guess because the writer, Enid Blyton, takes you to the different worlds at the top of the tree too. So you'll see what it's like to be topsy-turvy with policemen walking around on their hands. Or how about spending a day in the land of toys? Or even better, the land of goodies where chocolate muffins grow on trees. Of course, the magical lands don't stay at the top of the tree for long, so you've got to know how to get home. In one story, when the children have rescued the saucepan man from a fortress in the land of toys, they almost don't make it. Quick! Run! Run! cried Joe, and they all ran fast. Soldiers poured out of the fort after them, teddy bears and dolls joined in the chase, and animals pattered behind on four feet. To the hole in the cloud! shouted Joe. Run, Beth! Run, Franny! Oh, I hope we get there in time! How the children and the others ran! They knew well that if they were caught, they would be put into the toy fort, and then the land of toys would move away from the faraway tree, and goodness knows how long they might have to stay there. So they ran at top speed. Franny fell behind a little, and Joe took her hand to help her along. Panting and puffing, they raced down the streets of the land of toys, trying to remember where the hole was that led down through the cloud to the faraway tree. Joe remembered the way. He led them all to the hole, and there was the ladder. Thank goodness. You know, there are so many books out there that can make your head explode with new ideas and take you to places you've never imagined before. I'll bet you can find a book that will really get your head spinning 
and make your brain go topsy-turvy. You know, I could read about the adventures in the faraway tree all day. Oh, are you all right? <laughs> and if I can stay dry, I will. <laughs>